Yeah, you mentioned Jordan Ship. So I was looking at their their high school stats, and Channing Goodwin and Jordan Ship actually have very similar high school stats. They both had six, 60 plus receptions. They both had about a thousand receiving yards, um, and they both had about fourteen or fifteen receiving touchdowns. Um, not only is that amazing because we're talking about their junior year, of course, haven't even played their senior season. Um, it's also nice to see that that means Jaden Davis was spreading the ball around, right? Like they went uh, 12 and one and uh, had an amazing air attack with Jaden Davis, those two receivers. I'm sure they've got some other guys there catching some balls, but I've never traveled out of state for a high school football game before. But if Jordan Ship commits, we might have to take a trip to North Carolina, man, because it would be kind of fun to go watch some high school football with um, two two receivers and a quarterback all heading to Michigan. Yeah, obviously a, uh, a future uh, Michigan three-headed monster over there. So uh, very exciting, man. I'd love to have that chemistry between uh, a, our future quarterback and two wideouts. I mean... I think that would uh, really up the chances of the evolution of this passing attack kind of coming to fruition. You know, obviously it's it's been uh, it's left a little bit of of meat on the bone the last few years. So I, I'm very excited by the prospect of a triumvirate that's already acclimated in a high school environment growing together in Ann Arbor to uh, be the future of Michigan football triumvirate i think i'm gonna have to look that word up man if it is that a word triumvirate is like a trifecta or something i believe it's a word but uh heck heck you might yeah, want I love to fact it, check man. that when we get off <laughs> it's a word now you said it you used it correctly it's a word um yeah and you know i wrote an article earlier today about the channing goodwin um commitment being so important because to me, that represents a, a, a turning of the tide in the, in the position that's really been, you know, holding Michigan back. And no disrespect to, you know, Ronnie Bell, Cornelius Johnson, Roman Wilson. Some of these receivers we've had are very talented and they've overperformed. But it's no secret that Michigan has a run the damn ball mentality. And so for these really talented young wide receivers, they look at a team like Michigan and they're like, is that the team? that I really want to go to that's going to prepare me for the NFL? Um, is that the team that is, I'm going to be able to rack up receiving stats with? And I think with J.J. McCarthy evolving into a, a passer this season, which I think we all know is going to come uh, even more because we saw it a little bit last season, and then the commitment of Jaden Davis, now you're seeing guys like Channing Goodwin that's like, they're like, you know, I'm going to follow my guy, my quarterback, Jaden Davis, to Michigan. Um, we already know uh, Imarion Stewart is a heavy Michigan lean, Jordan Ship probably. And then, you know, there there's some five stars that are sniffing around now. Michigan is starting to have some visits from some five stars to where if they can flip a couple of these guys that are, I shouldn't say flip, but these guys that are leaning in some other directions, um, Michigan might actually be able to finish with the top two or three recruiting class which uh it's no secret that's where the long-term stability of a dynasty comes from teams like georgia and bama even ohio state have been doing that for a while and so 